To the show now, what's your view of graffiti? Is it art or just plain vandalism? Well, one Melbourne council is trying to distinguish between the two, spending millions removing unwanted spray paint while encouraging genuine graffiti artists to display their art where it is wanted. It is time now for The Mixed Grill with Tony Jones, who joins us from Melbourne, and Shelley Horton in Sydney. Good morning, guys. Morning. morning. Now, Shelley, I'm going to start with you. Now, in, uh, in a survey done for the draft plan on this, 71% of residents agreed that graffiti was vandalism and should not be tolerated, while just over half thought graffiti makes places feel unsafe. Do you agree? I agree 100%. I think that graffiti is vandalism. These are not struggling artists trying to express themselves with a spray can. What they are are thugs who are part of gangs and they are tagging. And by tagging an area, that is making locals feel unsafe. I think there is definitely a place for public art and graffiti can be part of that. If it's commissioned by the government, I do not think that people should be allowed to go out willy-nilly. And I think, Melbourne, you know, you've created your own bed for this by turning your your graffiti walls and graffiti alleys into tourist attractions. You can't have it both way. I say ban it all. Tony, what's your take? Well, Shelley, you, you, you need to wake up and smell the roses. We haven't made a rod for our own back We're by painting laneways. I mean, if that was the case, then you'd say every skateboarder is a rogue because they're skateboard parks. Um, no, I think in this situation, there's certainly room for graffiti to be seen as art. But how do you distinguish it? And the only thing that worries me here is that the council will actually have council workers distinguishing what is vandalism, what is graffiti and what is art. I mean, the, the thought of three burly blokes in overalls standing on their rakes, scratching their backsides, trying to work out whether the texture and the depth actually constitutes art or not is a bit of a worry. But uh, look, I, I, I don't have a problem with it really. I mean, the tagging is an issue. The tagging is a big issue. But if you go to areas, and you've got to remember too, a, a lot of the business owners in these areas are quite welcoming of it. So if they're happy with it, and if the council's happy with it, then so be it. But the council's not happy with it. That's the whole point. No, and 71% of people are saying no. that they don't agree with it either. So no. I think that you're trying to, you're using a big spray can to brush over the issue, which is tagging, Whoa. not graffiti. Well, I wish I had one now, Shelley, because what I'm really? saying is that if it actually, if the council is happy with it and if it is deemed as art as opposed to graffiti, then it's OK. So if not the everyone's was against happy with it. it. They would not be spending all this money to remove it. Mm. All right. All right. You'll have to agree to disagree on that one. Let us know your thoughts on whether or not you Keep think going. graffiti is art. We've got to move on, unfortunately, Carl. Now, how about this from Moral Maze? One day you check your bank balance to find... $100,000 has been mysteriously deposited into your bank account. Do you fess up immediately and report it, or would you ever be tempted to embark on a wild spending spree? Well, exactly that happened to one devoted religious Brisbane woman who lavished the cash on a luxury cruise and a wild spending spree. Did so what happened? There we go. <laughs> <laughs> She's been... <laughs> sorry, Richard, just sorry. keep that light up. Yeah, Thank you. It's Jay Weatherall's so, fault. So Jay Weatherall's in charge. That's right. <laughs> She's now been jailed for theft. Now, Shelley, mm -hmm. a lesson on doing the right thing? Oh, my God. OK, so this actual oh story makes me so angry because what it does is just... This woman is a personification for my disdain for religion. She said she was a devout Christian. She said that she was devoting her life to the self those and disadvantaged kids, but when this miracle money appeared in her account, did she think about the disadvantaged kids and give it to the needy? No, she thought about the buffet on the cruise and that's what she spent the money on. <laughs> <laughs> you can understand that happening really, Tony, can't you? Seriously, Shelley, I mean, it is the do-gooders of the world like you that has turned us into this oh. politically correct oh, nation. I mean, the woman the woman has got the proverbial hanging out of her pants at the moment because she's unemployed, she was house-sitting at the time. The banks have been screwing us for years. It's stealing, so if somebody, Tony. Stealing. If somebody in a, in a battler status like her wants to take advantage of that, good on her, I say. A Let her battler? go and splurge oh, it. Let goodness. her do whatever she likes A battler with. and she spent $90,000 on cruises. Yeah, Please. absolutely. And she's never going to get to do that again and the fact that she got an 18 month jail term for that, I mean she'll probably be out in three or something, is a joke in itself when you <laughs> consider how some of the other crimes get bailed automatically. No, good on her I say, go and splurge it. In fact if anyone oh checks their bank balances this morning and notice that there's funds in there that shouldn't be there, go and spend it straight away. <laughs> yeah. And Tony will defend you in court. Yes. Mm. <laughs> 
All right, guys, we are going to have to leave it there. Thanks for waking us up this morning. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> TJ's and Shelley, thanks a lot. We'll see you next week. Over to you, Carl. Woo. Oh, <laughs> good TV. Oh, that was good TV. Get those two back. <laughs> I want front Goodness row seats next gracious. week. Now, is this the world's <laughs> most popular baby? We meet.